They even letting you have none of that. And and getting back onto the point that I made there, when we when we when we ransacked them cities, man, that's how Jake got spread out, man. Cause we we, we take all kind of spoil. We take we, we used to take the women too, man. And when we took them, like, guess what, man? We left seed up on them people. So you got all kind of you, you got so-called either so-called so-called white people that are actually Israelites, man. You got so-called Chinese people that are actually Israelites, man. Right? Because when we were, hey, Vietnam was a good example, man. When them Jakes rolled up into Vietnam and they saw them pretty Viet, Viet, Vietnamese women, man, they popped them, man. Right? Because this is, it, it goes back, going back onto the law, right? Because see, Nate talks about the law and all of that. Going back onto the law, right? That was part of our custom, and That's something inbred within us, man. That's something within our spirit. And when we roll up into a country, we go to war, man. We're going to take spoils out of that country, man. All right? Let me get back onto the point. Right? It says, um, Behold, saith the Lord, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, right? Sword, famine, death, and destruction, man. So the Most High said, he, he didn't say he's gonna bring peace, man. He didn't say he's gonna bring lollipops, cakes, right? Fairy cakes, right? He didn't say he's gonna bring parties and he's gonna be joy. Guess what, man? It's gonna be, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be fun time for the elect, right? But guess what, man? He said he's gonna bring the 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 the, the, the third part through the fire. So right now ain't fun times for us. Right, but when the most I flip the script over, it's gonna be good times, man. We're gonna see you people suffer, man. That's gonna be laughable. When you go into the book of Proverbs, the first chapter and the 26th verse, do you really think it's gonna be the most I just the most I laughing, man? Don't forget what the scripture say, David, when David David said, David said, King David said it best, man. Don't I hate them that hate thee, O oh Lord? I hate them with a perpetual hatred. So when they're destroyed, you think it's just gonna be the most I laughing, man? It's gonna be all of the elect men laughing, man, laughing at you devils getting destroyed, man. Alright? Says here, man. Um, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Like I said, man. Ever since these Edomites have been put in power, you get, you had it to where all kind of wickedness, right, has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. Right to where, like I said, like I mentioned before, you got all kind of GMO food that's destroying the whole society and that, man. Right, the whole people, the whole populace, and that. The most is gonna have to uh, 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 attribute the retribution, right? Of doing that unto you, man, it's gonna have to give that back unto you, right? You got all, you know, you got all, the air is all polluted, man. All right, you got people getting all sick all over the place, cancers and all this, that, and the third, man. Right, the Most High is gonna have to recompense that unto you, man. That's why the scripture says, man, death, destruction, right, and mourning is gonna come up unto you. In the book of Jeremiah, it says it says they're gonna die of grievous death, not just by by way of nukes, man. You got these, you got these so-called Arab countries and so-called Chinese and all of that developing their so-called bioweaponry, man. Right, they might release one of those biochemical weapons, man. Right, you're gonna now you're gonna now you're gonna die because you're you, you, you're sick, not because it was a natural sickness, because someone's developed, right, a, a, a disease purely for destroying. Imagine how grievous that's gonna be. Do you know how grievous that death is gonna be, man. Right, like if they weaponize that Ebola or they, if they weaponize, because you had the Americans about two, three weeks back, right, going to and from different countries, man, right, releasing, so called accidentally releasing their weaponized anthrax, man. What if that went out into the populace? What's going to happen then, man? People going to die of grievous death, like the scripture says, man. All right, and one of those things is going to pop off, man. Right, because they've seen it, you've seen it in their movies. When you watch the movie uh, uh, I Am Legend, man. What you you really think that's something that's gonna uh, 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 that's something that's not gonna happen? That's, that's not a possibility, man. All right, that's something that could actually happen. And they had it, they, they had it to where you had the Superman Batman logo within the background of the so-called I, 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 I am I am Legend film, and that's something that that that, that film ain't even been released yet. All right, it was it was it was pretty much set up in the set up in the future to where to where uh, um that could actually happen next year, man. Right, you already you already know they got ground troops training and all of that within with the Jade Helm thing, right? And they could they could, they could coincide those two factors, man. See what the scripture says. We gonna find out about the scriptures, man. The scriptures are one hundred percent on point, man. It's you people that are so lackadaisical, right? That's so far gone, right? The contract that the, the most I really don't want you to jive with the spirit. I don't get it, man. Right, that's why the scripture also says it as concerning the law, man. My law, my laws are not grievous. See, you got all kind of wicked jakes, right? You're, Esau's wicked any guy at that point, right? But you got all kind of wicked jakes that just can't get right, right? But the scripture says, it, the scripture says, my laws are not grievous. So why can't they get right? Because they ain't weren't meant to get right, man. That's why you go to the book of Isaiah, the sixth chapter. Right? I know I'm quoting a lot of scriptures. You're gonna have to get a pen and paper out, man. Right? 
That's when you go into the book of Isaiah, the sixth chapter, man. Right around about the ninth verse. It says, um, uh, uh, how long, oh Lord? How long what? How long was he going to say simple, man? How long was it, was, wasn't they going to understand the scriptures? How long, Lord? Is what Isaiah said. And Lord said, said to the cities be laid waste. When you see these bricks, brick, these, these, these so-called... You know these these so-called uh, uh, luxury builders. When you see them being destroyed, man, that's when you're gonna get the understanding of the scriptures, man. But guess what? That's gonna be too late, man. And you're gonna get the understanding, and you're gonna get the name as well. But guess what? We go to the book of uh, Proverbs, like a quote before, man. It says, "Then shall they call upon my name, right?" So they are. You're actually gonna remember the name of the Lord right then, in that hour, in that minute, in that second, in that moment. You're gonna remember it. But guess what, man? The scripture says, "The Most High ain't gonna answer." All right. What, what's so funny? All right. That's when you. That's that's when you go. That's when you gonna understand, man. That's when you gonna. That's when you gonna feel. Uh, 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 that's when you go. That's when. That's when the Most High is gonna impart that, that so-called wisdom onto you, man. All right. Getting back onto the scriptures, it says this, man. Right. For a wickedness is exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit. And that's specifically talking about you Edomites, man. All right. But the most I ain't gonna have it to where you um is he ain't gonna hold his tongue no more, right? As concerning your wickedness, man. He ain't gonna do that no more, man. Right? He's gonna in other words, he's gonna unleash his full wrath upon you, man. Right? He's gonna unleash his full wrath upon you. And you wanna know about the wrath of the most high, man? You wanna know how the roll, the Lord really rolled, man? Go into the book of Isaiah, the sixty-third chapter, read that, man. Right? The Lord said his, his garments is going to be drenched in, in the blood of these Edomites, man. His garments, his green garments, because when you read the scriptures, man, he said, he, I saw him with, 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 a, with, with a garment like the burial, man. With a green, when the, the green garment ain't going to be green in that day, it's going to be all wet and red, man. Right? Right? By way of you Edomites getting destroyed, man. Where he's going to be, he's going to be so, so into it, the whole garment's going to be just, just red, man. Right? Like, like a true man of war, man. Because why? Because the Lord is a man of war, man. Go to the ex book of Exodus, the 15th chapter on the third verse. It says, the Lord is a man of war. And that's it. That's the whole verse there, man. All right? So it says there, man, um, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, and I will suffer them in the... I, I, Neither will I suffer them in those things which they wickedly exercise. So you got all kind of Edomites doing all kind of wickedness, right? All over the world. Is the Most High gonna allow that anymore? All right. You got you got you got it to where a man, if you if a man decides he wants to be a woman today, all right, they actually they don't just they don't just let that happen. They'll protect you for doing it, man. But see, if I want to roll with my two free women, now 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 I'm the crazy one. No, no pictures, man. No pictures. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. But if I want to roll with my my, my my women in that, now I'm crazy because I I want to deal with more than one woman. But see, if 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 if, if, if a man want to change himself from from being a man to a woman, he could do that. That goes to show you, man. This man is a he's a devil, man. He's a devil, man. Why why do you want to stay in this society? Why would you want to stay in this society, man? Why would you want to stay in this society? You can't. You got it to where in this society you can't even uphold your own manly spirit, man. Because that's going against the scriptures. But see, if you want to be a homosexual, you can do that, man. That's completely against the scriptures, man. That's why the Most High is going to destroy this wicked society, man. All right? It says here, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things which they wickedly exercise. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. And the souls of the just complain continually. So all the men that died, right? Whether they be in the spirit or whether they be in in, in, in the uh, uh, in, in their in their mortal form on the earth right now, man. All right. Whether they be pushing the word right now or whether they're gonna wake up to it, the souls of the just complain unto the Most High continually, right? Pretty much saying what it says in Ezekiel the ninth chapter on the fourth verse, huh? right? Uh, uh, crying and sighing for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. So you can't die with your, the fullness of your spirit out here, right? Because you got the you got the wicked in power right now, man. Right? Well, you can't you can't you can't you can't go with the with the realness with the scriptures, right? With the with the with the truth, right? The truth the truth can't abound until the devil be dis destroyed, man. The spiritual and I'm and I'm talking about the the, the, the spirit the, the physical counterpart to the devil, man. The actual actual devil incarnate, man. Right? Which is Esau, man. Which you, which is you Edomites, man. Alright? 
says Amen. And, and therefore saith the Lord will I surely avenge them. Right? So you got this film, The Avengers, man. Right? And they're talking about avenging the earth and all of that. But see, when have you ever seen the most high, whenever you ever seen God, right? Dealing with every with all the multitude of the people upon the earth. When have you ever seen that, man? What what example within the scriptures? Has the most side to where people all come together and they find extraterrestrial beings, man. That's never happened. But what you've seen is the most side sending extraterrestrial beings to fight for one group of people and destroying other people, man. But right? there's all there's all kind of examples of that. When 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 you had the Israelites, the Negroes, the Spanish, Native Americans leaving the land of Egypt, what happened, man? The most side had it to where extra extraterrestrial right uh, 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 events happened. To where those those people were delivered from there, right? And the people that was the, the people, the Egyptians, the Hamites, man, they were destroyed, man. And there's been all kind of cases of that, man. Right? When the when the Mosai opened the eyes of the prophet and he saw, man, damn, I thought we only had a, a few men around us, but really, we got all of these angels around us getting ready to go to battle against these these bloody heathens, man. Right? So the Mosai ain't all the Mosai ain't about avenging avenging everybody. It ain't about avenging you people's emotions and all of that, man. Right, but he's going to surely, he's going to surely have mercy on Jacob. That's what it says in Isaiah the 14th chapter. Right, and he's, he's going to surely avenge them. See, the law is the real avenger, man. And he's going to surely avenge the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. For what, man? Because the righteous and innocent blood right, cry unto the Most High. So you have the so-called transatlantic slave trade, man. The Most High still has it. You still haven't had an event to where that has been paid back, man. Right, you still haven't had it to where the Most High flips the script on that. Right, but, but history goes to tell you wherever you touch, whenever you touch the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, the, ne the, the Israelites, the real Israelites, right? Grievous things happen to that nation, man. Right? That's why you had all kinds of societies fall to the ground, man. Egypt fell, right? The Babylonians fell, right? The Persians fell, right? All of those, all of those, all of those hands, all of those people had hands on, uh, um, upon the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, man. The most I made it, you made Egypt fall so bad. You got these Edomites saying they're the Egyptians, man. Now that's a hell of a taking over, man. That's a hell of a taking over. All right, and they, these Edomites done really done did that to all of the different nations, man. They did that to the Israelites. You got the so-called Kazarian Jews out there saying that they're real Israelites, man. All right, Do you know your kingdom's gonna be destroyed, sir. Yeah. Right, well, you got these Kazarian, you got these Kazars out there, right, calling themselves the so-called real Jews and that, right. And that's how you know this man, that's how you know this man one is the devil and is, is the deceiver. And when you go into the book of Job, the ninth chapter on the 24th verse, it says, um, he covered the faces of the judges thereof, right? Uh, if not where and who is he, man? So if it's not this man, if it's not Esau, who is it, man? All right? And you got, I mean, and you got, you got people of our own society within the circle of Israel being knowing that they're Israelites. They don't even push the, the, the destruction of Esau anymore, man. Right, because they're all up into the society. They're about gaining things, man. Don't get me wrong, man. Right, the most I will open up certain avenues out to you, but the principal thing that you're supposed to be doing, you're supposed to be focused on, you're supposed to be hasting, right, right, and uh, hasting, looking for and hasting unto the destruction of this society, because that's when, that's, that's when the Lord said He's going to give us rest, man. So if you're looking for rest in this society, guess what? You ain't going to find it, man. All right, because you'll be out there on holiday, you're in the Bahamas, you get, oh, you suddenly you get sick. Why? Because you were in this society, man. Right? You be at home, right, chilling. Right? And you get a heart attack. Guess what? Because you're in this society, man. Right? You go through 10 years of your life, like, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got certain ones on Nate's, Nate's clan, right? That say, oh, you know, you got to work out a 10-year plan and all of that. You got hard job truth on that 10-year plan type of mentality. Guess what, man? What, what if the most side puts a heart attack upon you, man? What, what, what if you develop cancer, man? Because it's entirely possible, right? We can clearly see that the spirit ain't dealing with you, so it's, you ain't, you ain't, like the scripture says, man, they shall eat poison and live. But really, that's talking about the elect. So if you ain't the elect, right, for the most part, you're going to drop dead, man, right? Whether it's be by way of the nuclear missiles, whether it's be by way of Esau's uh, uh, genetically modified foods and all of that, man, right? You're going to drop dead anyway, man. So you got all of these guys within the circle, of knowing that the Israelites talking about the 10-year plan and so on. Don't you know by then your body will probably most probably be decomposing, man, right? Rotting in and out of itself. Don't you just, don't you realize how bad the state of the world has got to right now, man? Don't you see that? 
Don't you see that, man? What, you're, 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 you're telling me you're 100, man? Your knees ain't hurting, your, your hips ain't hurting, you're telling me you're 100, you're that on point that you can think 10 year plans, man? Right, you, you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans need to get into the right spirit, man. All right? Getting back onto the, on the, onto the scripture, it says, Therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them, right? And, and receive unto me all the innocent righteous bread from among them. And he says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the salt. And that's talking about you wicked Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, like our so called leaders of this people, man. Whether you be, whether you are in this, wherever, wherever you're in the world, a so called a, a pastor or a preacher and so on and so forth, whatever you call yourself a prophet, man. Right? If you're not teaching by way, by the same way that you see the word being pushed by way of GMS, man, if you ain't teaching like that, guess what? You're going off. And the most is going to destroy you, man. Because you got the teachers out there. All right, you got the teachers out here teaching you the right word, so there ain't no excuse, man. There ain't no excuse of not of, of, of being 50%, 70%, 99% ain't good enough. All right, the most I said is, the scripture says, right, I wish that you were perfect, right, roughly paraphrasing, but the most I is perfect, man. Right, be ye perfect because your father in heaven is perfect. That's what the scripture says, man. Like, you know, it came back to mind. That's what the scripture says. So, so the most I ain't 99%. The most I ain't even 99.99%, man. Right? The most I is 100, man. And that's the, that's the same vein he's going to come back and he's going to come back in 100. Right? He's going to come back. He's going he's gonna to have it to where he's going to come back on point, man. All right? And the ones, uh, ones of the people of our people that are teaching 99%, that are teaching 80%, where they give you the whole truth, but they don't tell you who ESO is. They give you the whole truth, but they're talking on that, that long tenure plan, man. Right, that, that, that pension plan, that, that retirement home plan, man. Right, that first Israelite billionaire plan, man. Them, the, the guys that are talking like that, first and foremost, they ain't in the right spirit. Right, the most likely going to destroy them. Right, and they're going to be set up as an example against, uh, against uh, to, to let these people know that they, they're going to be destroyed, man. You alright there, man? Yeah. Do you know this society is getting ready to be destroyed? It's been destroying itself for years. Alright, that's good, man. That's good you know that. Alright? Right, so you got these, you got these people on, in the wrong spirit, man. Right, but the more, hey, the more side has, a, the more side has got a way of really revealing it, revealing certain people, man. And, and I pray, oh, why, you how, why, you how, I, if I'm not in the right spirit, I get into the right spirit, man. Otherwise, I'd be destroyed, man, because I ain't exempt from the judgment of the more side. All right, you got all you had, you, you got examples of, 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 of immediate examples of dudes that are on fire from this thing, on this, in this thing. Right? They let they, they, them 1%, that little 11 get in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Right? They, they let that little 11 get up in there and that completely just destroyed them, man. Alright? But guess what, man? They, 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 those that went from us, right? That's because they went for, of us, man. Right? And the scripture tells you that, man. Alright? Get back onto the point. It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, and I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I'll bring them with a mighty and stretched forth arm. And smite Egypt with plagues. Now, what's the modern day Egypt? Right? You're going to have to identify what Egypt was and what made Egypt great. Right? When the Israelites went up into the land of Egypt, that's when Egypt became big. Namely, when, when Joseph, right, told Pharaoh, right, of that flood that was coming to him when he revealed that dream unto him, right, where, where, uh, about the, 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 five, the five good jazz and the five, the five bad jazz, that's what really made Egypt a great place. But guess what? That, could not, that wouldn't have happened without, without, without Joseph being on the scene, man. Right, that wouldn't have happened if the Most High didn't impart the spirit of wisdom onto Joseph to where he deciphered what the, what the, what the dream was about, man. So really, is you got you got you got, you, you got these niggas, man. You got these niggas, man. They're talking this old this this Egypt madness, man. Right, like Egypt was some great place because the the high Hamites high Mount, built that new. Is the Israelites built that empire up, man? To what it was, just just the same way you got this society built up right now, man. We made this we made the society great, man. Wait, the music you listen to, we, we made that music, man. Jazz, blues, rock, all of that, man. That's all our music. That's our culture, man. Right? Oh, you listen to that music. What's that music all about, man? Us complaining about this society, man. And really, when you get into to the, the origins of that, man, you know, you got, you got the reggae, you got, the, you got that, that madness that they got now. I don't know what the hell they call it, but you go into that, that original stuff, man. Right? They be telling you straight up, man, this man is the devil. Right? He, speak with fork, he speaks with a fork tongue. Right, and he needs to be destroyed, man. They be straight up telling you that, man. Right, and that's how that that's how that's that goes back onto the songs, man. Because the songs were songs, man. They were songs about Esau being destroyed, man. right? The Most High saying most the Most High's name 
right? Delivering man from certain situations, man. Right, that's that's what the Psalms were, man. And, 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 and reggae, reggae is just nothing but a derivative of that, man. All right, you got certain man singing about women, but but when you go into the scriptures, man, that was too focused. Really, the scriptures is like a woman, man. All right, right. It says here, man. But I bring, I will bring them with a mighty and stretched stretched out arm, right, and smite Egypt with plague. So I was making the point. Right, that we we was the ones that uh, uh, made Egypt great. So now, what's the modern day Egypt? America, man. That's when you go into the Book of Revelations. It says that's uh, the city that's called spiritually uh, with the spirit, the city that's spiritually uh, Sodom and spiritually Egypt. All right, because that's what that's that's where you had a, um, that's where the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans were in all kind of hardcore bondage out there, man. In all kind of hardcore slavery, man. Right to the way to, to to where man, I heard this example, man. You had the slave route, man, the transatlantic slave route, where the, the, where, the, where the ships went from uh, the west coast of Africa onto America. The sharks still followed that route by way of all of the people that were being, were being thrown over, poor man. That's how bad it was, man. All right? But you, what, you Edomites, you gonna, just going to get away with that? You going to touch the, the apple or the moss size? I ain't going to just gonna get, get away with that, man. No, man. The moss size brings such, so much grievousness for you, you don't even realize it, man. You got these proud ass Edomites thinking that this society is going to go on forever out here. But they don't even realize just how far, just how, just, just how far deep into third world war we're in right now, man. Well, you got these proxy wars happening. You got, you got, you got, um, you got uh, Russia right now up in this so-called nuclear weapon inventory. Right, you got America playing proxy wars to where they got the whole of Eastern Europe, Latvia, Lithuania, and all of them countries on down on the borders of Russia. They got, they got garrisons out there. You really think that we're not at World War Three right now? You really think that this thing's not happening, man? It's happening as we speak, man. All right, that's why you know. That, that's how you know the scriptures is on point, and that's how you know it's high time to wake up out of sleep, man. It's high time to wake up out of that, that, that lollipop sleeping mentality, man. Right, let's the most I catch you sleep.